ignored and read me the modern dance. Says Graham, I believe that we learn by practice. It is the performance of a dedicated, precise set of acts, physical or intellectual, from which comes shape of achievement. A sense of one's being, a satisfaction of spirit. Ultimately, one becomes, in some area of life, an athlete of God. Graham's words resonate with me, not just because I'm a dancer, but because her words are rich with wisdom of a dancer's life, as a dancer is a prime example of someone who becomes what they practice day in and day out. While I've spent over 40 hours a week in this Bait Me Drosh over the past two years, the place where I spend my free time, spent my free time was in the dance studio. Every class, my ballet teacher is very clear about what she's looking for at the bar. If she doesn't see clarity of movement from her students, she reminds the class repeatedly, stretch your feet, use the floor, stand tall. You might be wondering, why does she need to repeat herself? She constantly reminds her students because she's acutely aware that the dance class is where we practice technique and the reaction of the body programs the muscle memory. So practicing correctly is very important for the dancer. A dancer is trying to accomplish a lot in every given moment. Musicality, expression, strength, quality of movement. So it's very easy to forget the basics. Thus, the dancer needs a teacher guiding her in order to practice correctly and get the most out of class. This is true also in the Pardes Beit Midrash. Reading, translating Hebrew, gaining insight, staying in sync with your chavruta, delving into mafarshim. We need our teachers to be our partners, helping us to be exact during the learning process. Pardes is completely aware of this fact, and it has taken over 18 invested teachers and staff over the course of two years to bring me to bring me to the place where I am today. That's an amazing amount of resources, but integrating good Torah learning practices into muscle memory requires that committed teachers guide the student, ensuring they practice correctly so the student can achieve mastery. The wisdom of our sages did not conflict with Martha Graham's wisdom. In Pirkei Avo, chapter 4, Mishnah 5, it says, Rabbi Yishma Omer, Halomed Torah Al-Minat Lilamed, Mispakin Biyado Limod Ulamed, Vahalomed Al-Minat Lasot, Maspikin Biyado Limod Ulamed, Lishmor Vilanasot. Rabbi Yishmael said, he who learns in order to teach is enabled to learn and to teach. And he who learns in order to practice is enabled to learn and to teach, to observe and to practice. I want to focus on one aspect of this Mishnah. He who learns in order to practice. The reward of a person who just wants to learn in order to practice learning, or practice what they've learned, is greater than the reward of a person who learns to be able to teach. The rabbis discuss this in terms of being able to practice the mitzvot, enabling the learner to do benevolent deeds for others, and thus the learner will be blessed with an opportunity, opportunity to learn, teach, observe, and perform. I think this is what Martha Graham meant when she said that ultimately one becomes in some area of life an athlete of God. Pardes is a laboratory for Jewish life, learning, and living. As I've watched other people learn inside these walls, it's not just Torah I've witnessed them trying to master. I've witnessed them trying to gain mastery over their piece of the world through Torah learning, so that they can become an athlete of God. I came to Pardes to be able to do the same, to take responsibility for my piece of the Jewish world, different from my esteemed colleagues, but just as important, in the world of experiential Jewish education. And today I stand here confident that after two years of good practice, I can learn, teach, observe, and perform. I would like to thank particular teachers and mentors who have granted me special time and attention during my time at Pardes. First, Dr. Judy Marcos for understanding this important project and taking me on as the pilot of the pilot. Aviva Goldberg, the constant mentor in rock. Susan Yammer for helping me to become a better teacher. Rabbi Speed Hirschfield for helping me to clarify my positions on the big questions of Jewish life and for always making me laugh. Dr. Daniel Roth for inviting me into his vision and collaborating to create an exciting Jewish learning series for Hello Professionals to Rabbi Michael Hatton and Nima Novetsky for inspiring me to fall in love over and over again with Tanakh, and of course, to Daryl, <laughs> my husband, a true partner in crime, for allowing me to drag you across the world to follow my convictions. Thank you. <laughs>